What's going on YouTube, it's Mal here. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to work around expensive plugins, in particular instrument plugins in Ableton using the resampler method. And it's real simple, it's going to be quick and easy, and I hope after you watch this, you're going to be able to go do it yourself and basically be able to use any instrument plugin that you want without paying for it. So let's just go right into the video. Today I'm going to be showing you how I've been working around this Jupiter plugin from Arturia. So Jupiter synth is like an 80s sound. It's uh, kind of like Van Halen, Stranger Things, that kind of vibe if you know what I'm talking about. But as you can see, the full version costs $149 and the demo version is free. Okay, so the demo version in this case comes with basically all the bells and whistles of the full version. Uh, so if you download it, and I've already done that here, there are some limitations when it comes to this version. So the first thing that's going to pop up when you drag the demo version in, it's going to ask you whether you've authorized the software and if you've basically paid for the full version. If not, you're going to be limited to this demo mode. And as you can see right here, the limitations are save, load, import, export are disabled. And also after 20 minutes, the sound is going to cut off from the plugin. So there's a quick workaround. So I'm just going to click demo version here. And as you can see, you basically have access to all the different presets. So, you know, all these different things. <laughs> so, plugin is kind of crazy, to be honest. Um, yeah, so you can, you know, change. You can, uh, you know, have all the different features available. And... I'm going to show you how maybe just with an example of a simple chord progression here. So I like this tone preset right here. So now I'm just going to record a little chord progression with this drum track that I've already uh, tracked out. So I'm going to do that and then come back and show you how I use the resampler. So just right here. So let's listen back to it. So as you can see already, you know, MIDI's tracked out. So the problem is in 20 minutes, I'm not gonna be able to access this MIDI audio anymore. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come down to this audio track here and under this tab here, I'm going to click the resampling tool or function. Okay, and essentially what this is going to allow me to do is record all the audio that's playing inside of Ableton. So what I want to do is first turn off this drum track. So I'm only listening to the Jupiter synth. Okay, and I can even uh, name this resample just so it doesn't get confusing. And what I'm going to do is just go ahead and record um, through this resampling track. All right, so there we are. So now if we go back, okay, and we listen, let's solo out the original Jupiter MIDI. Okay, and now let's solo out the resampling track. A little quieter, so maybe I'm gonna have to boost it a bit. Okay, and then back to the original. 
Now back to the resampler. So now what I can do is I can turn off this original MIDI track here. Okay, and I have the full sound from the plugin without having to pay for it. And basically this audio track now will stay forever. So I basically have what I needed from the plugin and I can just go on with making the rest of my song. And that's basically how I use it. Um, yeah, you can use it with other types of plugins too that have a limitation, like a time limitation or a save limitation. Um, but it's just a really quick workaround. So that's basically it for today. So that's the method right there. It's real quick, real easy. Um, you can use it for a lot of different things. For example, if you find like your project is getting a little too clogged up, you can use the resampler tool to record everything. And then, you know, you can disable the previous tracks that are requiring a lot of like computing memory and power. And that'll kind of like take a little bit of strain off your computer or if you want to just kind of like stack tracks together and resample them and then put effects on the new resample track afterwards um, to kind of like blend the sounds together with the effects that's another good method but for me just you know if I don't know whether I want to buy the plugin yet or not and I still want to use the sounds in my music it's just a real easy way of just quickly resampling and then just having that new audio file and I can basically get all the sounds that I want without having to pay full price. So that's going to be it for today's video. I know it's been a while since, but since I've uh, done a tutorial. If there's any questions that you guys have, you know, just leave them in the comments. And if there's any other kind of videos you guys need a little bit of help with in terms of Ableton, just leave it in the comments and I'll try to make some more videos. That's basically it. And that's all. So go make some music. Stop watching me and go make some music.